What's going on guys? Oklahoma Outdoorsman here today. Today, well actually, probably yesterday, a couple days ago, I showed you my everyday carry that I keep on me at all times when I'm not at work. Today I'm going to show you an updated version of my truck EDC. If you can't tell, we kind of updated the vehicle that we are driving. Those dogs over there don't know how to shut up. But we upgraded our vehicle that we're driving. We're no longer driving that 2004 Ford F-150. We're now driving a 2020 Silverado Texas Edition LT model truck. So today I'm just going to kind of go over some minor things about the truck and then just get into what we have inside the truck. Makes our lives a little more simple. All right, here we go. First things first, as you can tell, it is a Chevy Silverado. It is the 2020 edition LT model. So it's not loaded, but it's not the uh, base model. It's actually really dirty right now. We had some snow, so all of that from that. Not a paper tag on it still, that's how new it is. Uh, it comes with trailer package. We've got our ball in there right now. I think this is my favorite part about the truck. It's got the automatic lowering tailgate. No bed liner in it yet. As you can tell, we've already used the truck like a truck. Got some scratches in it. We got plug in right there. But just basic bed pretty much. Got the trailer. Trailering package right there. Basic truck. I mean no def or anything like that not a diesel let's get into this truck like i said it is dirty and this is straight video didn't want to take anything out or anything didn't want to clean it up or anything so I'll give you a quick view of it real quick Oh, hey, yeah, you can tell I haven't done anything with it yet because my work clothes and everything are still back here. That's okay, we'll move those out of the way in just a second. We'll start off in the front. Front, we're going to get in here, sit down. I'm the primary driver of the vehicle. As you can tell it has remote start. We got the one that has the wall outlet style right here. And then... Regular plug-in. And then we got one that has the middle seat. Right now all I keep in here is a O-Light, a charger, and a big backup battery bank that almost always stays charged. And insurance and stuff like that. That lifts up. Makes an additional seat. Oh man, leaves a dent in the seat. Ooh hard didn't realize how hard that was and then in here we keep one of our guns in here so that's all that is get that shut shut this we'll move back to the back seat not much going on in here oh man that is really dirty that sucks but in here we keep some de-icer because it's been really cold here recently. So put that in there. And here's my work clothes, work jackets. Let's go ahead and we'll move all this real quick. Here's the back seat how it normally is whenever I don't have my work stuff in here. You can see I got my boys, my boys car seats. These seats actually open up. I don't keep anything in here. Hey, you know what? Hey, that works. Now I'm put this back. But I don't keep anything in here. It has one right here, one on the other side. Don't think I keep anything in there. Nope. But 
I do keep stuff under here. This whole back seat lifts up. This is where the majority of my stuff is. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four ammo cans back here. Each one has some stuff in it. We'll pull them out. You know what? Now I'm just going to do it right here. Open it. This one's got, looks like, some batteries, some hand warmers, a screwdriver kit that has multiple screwdrivers, extra flashlight, some more de-icer down there, a couple knives, it's got my Kubaton, I don't know why this is even in here, it's got magnet light, works good extra CPR mask and poncho and some paracord is what it looks like in that one. Okay. Shut that up. That's what sits closest. This one feels a lot lighter. Let's see. I can't even remember what I put in these, honestly. Okay. I got my snips, knife, <coughs> adjustable wrench, a little multi-tool box with fuses in it, fuse tester, and another fixed plate knife. Okay, put all that back in there. And guys, if you ask about these ammo cans, I literally just went to Harbor Freight and got them from there. They were had a coupon for two ninety nine. What they were. This one right here. Winter gloves. Assortment of washers, and that's always good to have. And then some toe straps. Not a whole lot in that one. Get that shut up. Okay. And then this one was actually that first aid kit that if you go back on my previous videos, I, I'll link it up in the cards, but if you go back, it'll show you how to make a complete first aid kit. Very comprehensive kit inside of a can. All right, that's all of the ammo cans that I keep, but I also keep, let's move some of these. I also keep a 20 foot toe strap. As you can see, it's been used a couple times, most of them to pull me out. Keep a Ozark Trail bat light. Pretty bright light, but mainly use it for the bat part. The truck comes with a uh, comes with a jack on the other side, and then this side is the tire iron. And to get the spare tire out, I've got a Walmart folding shovel. These things work great for digging yourself out. Uh, if you can see up on the shelf, it's actually some tire straps. These don't work just great for ice, but they also work good for getting yourself out of the mud. And this truck is just two-wheel drive, guys. So, I mean, every now and then need a little push. Because, you know, if you're going to have a two-wheel drive truck, you might have to compromise. And every now and then you'll end up getting stuck. There's that, though. Pull that light back down. I'll uh, move that car seat and get on that side real quick. Uh-oh, let's see. We're stuck on something. fix it later get over here we'll check this other side out as you can tell on this side we've got our car seat and I kind of have it just done in there for now get that set aside this side has the same storage compartments and I don't have anything in it yet 
under here you can see we have our jack just a bottle jack factory I have our collapsible four-way full-size four-way and it collapses down just like that right here this is actually a that is actually a frog tog rain suit just a cheap walmart rain suit really put that in there and then right here i have 72 hours worth of food as you can see it's just a wise company another walmart special on food and guys as you can tell i've got my work backpack some targets for when we were out shooting and then my work clothes but that's pretty much all that I carry in this truck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know one other thing that I'm missing. Let's get that thrown back in there real quick. Have to suit all that up here in a little bit. This is probably the thing that I use the most, too. Right behind here. I actually have just a cheap Hyper Tough socket set. And it fits perfectly between the seat and the side of the truck right there the seat belt hides it you can't even really tell it's there but yeah guys that's pretty much all that i carry inside my truck now as you can tell i don't have any light bars or anything on it again because well it's a new truck don't really need them those headlights on there are led this is the uh what I don't even remember, 2.7 liter, four cylinder turboed engine. It's getting about 22 to 26 on the gas mileage. I haven't really towed anything with it yet. We had some washer and dryers in the back. That's what all those scratches and stuff are for, from. But it's a good truck. We'll do some tests on it and everything here, uh, here soon. It has a locker in the back, even though it's not four wheel drive. So that's good that's why we actually ended up going for this one but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video and uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out some of our older videos guys i'm gonna try and be posting a little bit more i know i say that every video actually i don't think i said it last video but i know we pretty much say it every video but uh yeah guys i think my next video is actually going to be me installing a flagpole we're gonna put it right here somewhere right in here do a flag display in front of the new house so yeah guys like comment subscribe be sure to check out some of our older videos and stay tuned for more guys all right y'all have a good night